Hi everyone, welcome to Clonas. This is Dr. Ramakrishna, a researcher and a scientist working on the plant propagation and rooting aids. And welcome back to the the science behind air layering video series. So in this series, we have already learned about okay choosing the right stem and selection of right node and uh, application of different ppm levels of hormone for the air layering application. So in this video, we are going to learn everything about air layering ball or booty or air layering pouch. So what is air layering ball or air layering pouch? Locally, these are also called as a gooties, right? So it's basically nothing but a polythene bag, a plastic mount, which is filled with the rooting media and wrapped around the wounded stem. That's where the new roots will emerge as become a new plant in the air layering process. So here is the thing. Whether you choose polythene bag or plastic mold, it doesn't matter. The rooting media we put inside play a key and important role for the root formation. Now let's discuss about the preparation of rooting media. We all know most widely used successful material for the large scale application in the nursery is the cocoa pit because it is lightweight, higher water retained to and allows roots to grow and move freely. Another great option is the sphagnum moss. It, it, it is C derived material having the higher water holding capacity. And to be frank, it's not widely available and bit expensive when compared with the cocoa pit. Some people also mix things up to get best results. For example, cocoa pit plus perlite. This combination helps to improve the airflow and reduces the fungal rot. Another combination is cocoa pit plus rice husk, which is widely used in the tropical and humid areas. It is a very lightweight and breathable. And the next combination is cocoa pit plus sand in a 1 is to 1 ratio, okay, which gives the structure and proper drying to rooting. We can even also mix with a bit of vermicompost, but don't wow to it. A small amount of vermicompost is sufficient to boost the nutrition. So make sure that use of clean, pathogen-free and easy neutralized cocoa pit. Okay. After choosing the rooting media, we have to prepare it accordingly before wrapping up the stem. So at our farm, we mix humic acid and um, pseudomonas or trichoderma into the cocoa pit before making the air layering balls. This step makes the very big difference. Humic acid helps to um, increase the roots formation and also increases the moisture retention and also helps the um, uh, nutrients uptake for the new upcoming plant. Whereas pseudomonas or trichoderma to prevent the fungal infection at the node area or root forming area. So make sure that, right, always make sure that the cocoa pit we are going to use it must be moist, not too wet. Okay. And this is a way we have to create a, a perfect rooting environment okay, by adding these ingredients, okay, which helps to give the very quick and safe and effective roots in the air layering process. First, squeeze out excess amount of water from the rooting media. The media should be moist, not too dripping wet. Okay. And second, the tightness of the gooty. The gooty should be neither too loose, neither too tight. If it is too loose, so it don't anchor the roots. If it is too tight, it restrict the newly forming root growth. Right. And one more common mistake most people used to do using a clay or clay sand mix or heavy soil as a rooting media. So because it holds too much amount of water and compact and suffocates the newly forming roots. Okay. And the efficient and safe method is to take the uh, media with the lightweight and with well drainage like cocoa pit or sphagnum moss is the best choice for the 
successful alien approach here is the final important tip if your alien ball is exposed to too much sunlight please wrap it up with silver foil or black color poly bag because it prevents the higher light exposure over heating and a green algae formation remember too much light exposure too much moisture and poor air supply causes the green algae formation it doesn't kill roots directly but it create a bad environment like blocking oxygen holding the too much moisture that leads to the ultimately stem rot which is not good for successful air layering hope you understand the science behind air layering pots and its preparation if you have any doubts and queries please comment in the comment section please share your thoughts and ideas with us and if you like my work please subscribe to my channel thank you very much and see you in the next video